Now I can also do parallel processing with EQ. You might be asking why would you ever want to do that? Well, there's a couple reasons. The first reason is because you might want to be able to get some, uh, let's say, high-end shine on your track without totally changing the character of your track. Anytime you plug something into an outboard piece of gear, you're going to be changing the character and the color of the sound. But you might not want to do that. You might like the color of your sound, but you might just want some high-end on it. If you do parallel EQ, you can get the high-end without changing the color. Also, let's say you have a really cheap piece of gear that doesn't sound so great, but functions exactly how you want it to function. This might be some kind of um, outboard effects processor, or it might be an EQ. You might just want that high end, and you don't want the color of that piece of gear. If you run your whole stem or your whole stereo mix through that piece of gear, it's going to totally change your sound. But if you do some parallel processing, you get the effect without changing the sound. So let's check that out. I've got this Great River Harrison EQ that I want to put on my drum bus, and I want to get some extra high end. Now the first thing you might notice is that I have this in Insert 3. Now Insert 3 does not have a parallel processing button under it. So how do we get it to the parallel processing loop? Well, it's easy. We hit the flip button, and now 3 and 4 switch places, and if I hit the parallel processing button, 3 is now going to the parallel processing loop. So let's take a listen to that. Here's my dry drum stem. And now here it is with the EQ. You can hear that that's way too much high end. But if we send it to the parallel processing loop, we can blend some of that in. Now we get the original character of the track that we liked, plus the benefit of the extra high end. Now keep in mind that you can do this with any piece of outboard gear. You can use reverbs, other kinds of effects processors, flangers. Here I've got this Moog filter, and this does a pretty cool thing with harmonic distortion. So let's throw this in there. Here's my dry drum bus. And now here it is with the Moog filter. And now here it is with the Moog in parallel processing. Slowly blending it in. Let's talk about the buttons on the liaison. So if we engage insert 2 on the B bus, we see that the light is solid. That indicates that that insert is on our B bus. But as soon as we send it to the parallel bus, we see that the light starts blinking. What that blinking light indicates is that that is no longer in the B bus, but instead it's being sent to the parallel bus. That also indicates that this is the start of our signal chain in the parallel bus. What I mean by that is if I insert number 4 in the parallel bus, you'll see that 4 goes away. That means, again, this is no longer in bus B, but it's in the parallel bus. And the blinking light on number 2 indicates that this is the beginning of our signal chain, and 4 is the end of our parallel bus signal chain. Now, of course, remember that we have these flip buttons. So if I want to send 1 to the parallel bus, I select 1 on the insert, it turns solid to show me that it's in B, and I hit the flip button, which will send 1 to the parallel bus. Now 1 is blinking, indicating that it's going to the parallel bus and it's the start of our signal chain, and 2 is solid, indicating that it's on bus B. And now if I hit flip again, 2 goes back to the parallel bus and 1 stays solid, showing that it's on bus B. Now I can also insert number 6 and send that to the parallel bus and we'll see that light number 6 disappears. So if we follow our whole signal chain, we see that 2 is blinking, it's the start of our parallel signal chain, and then we go to 4, which is not lit, and 6, which is also not lit, showing that that's the end of our signal chain. Taking these out of the parallel bus will show that 6 and 4 are still engaged, and now they're in B, but putting them back in the parallel bus will take away the lights, showing that they're only going to the parallel bus, not to bus B. Once you start using it more, it'll become very clear. It's helpful to have a visual to show the beginning and the end of your signal chain and to show what's going to bus B and what's going to the parallel bus. Now also keep in mind that when you turn up the parallel blend knob, what you're doing is adding two buses together. So naturally you'll get a louder signal than just the dry signal alone. When you add two buses, you increase the power, increasing the level of the audio. One thing we haven't talked about yet is this polarity button underneath the parallel blend knob. 
what that does is flips the polarity of the audio going to the parallel bus. The reason you might want to do that is because sometimes when you're heavily processing a signal with compressors and EQs and other outboard gear, you can change the phase coherency of that signal in relation to the dry signal. So hitting the polarity button will flip it and allow you to get a different phase relationship. Now most often, what it'll actually do is create an effect, and we can actually listen to that here. So if I play my signal, here I've got my dry drum bus, and I can engage the compressor and send the compressor to the parallel loop and now flip the polarity of the compressor. If I turn up the parallel blend knob, you'll hear a pumping effect that starts to happen with the compressor. The more I turn it up, the more of the effect we get. That's just a cool little effect that you can use on certain applications. Not something you're going to use all the time, but it's there if you need it. You can also do the same thing with EQ. If I insert my EQ on the parallel bus and hit the polarity button, I can get an effect that's similar to a phaser. Here's my dry drum bus, and as I turn up the parallel blend knob, you'll hear more of the effect coming in. So that's just another one of the versatile ways that you can use a liaison. So that covers the basics of parallel processing. The liaison is the simplest way available today to beef up your tracks with parallel processing. So plug it in and go make some music.